Hello there. Let me share to you what some of the most influential teachers in the early church said concerning wealth and poverty. The Didache says, share everything with your brother. Do not say it is private property. If you share what is everlasting, you should be that much more willing to share things which do not last. The Shepherd of Hermas says, Do not partake of what God has created alone in abundance, but share it with those that are in need. And it also says, Take heed therefore as dwelling in a strange land, prepare nothing more for yourselves but a competency which is absolutely sufficient and necessary. Aristides wrote, Christians love one another. They do not overlook the widow and they save the orphan. He who has ministers ungrudgingly to him who does not have. Justin Martyr wrote, We who once took most pleasure in the means of increasing our wealth and property now bring what we have into a common fund and share with everyone in need. And this is an interesting illusion, a pagan author who criticized Christianity. When he describes how Christians live, he states, they despise all possessions and share them mutually. Irenaeus wrote, instead of the tithes which the law commanded, the Lord said to divide everything we have with the poor. And he said to love not only our neighbors, but also our enemies, and to be givers and sharers not only with the good, but also to be liberal givers toward those who take away our possessions. Tertullian wrote, Let us abandon luxuries, and we shall not regret them. Let us cast away earthly ornaments if we desire heavenly. And he also said, We who share one mind and soul, obviously have no misgivings about community of goods. Cyprian wrote, Our Lord, the teacher of the good, looking to the future, warned us against the chains of property, saying, If you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. If the rich would do this, riches would not be the ruin. If they stored up their treasure in heaven, they would not have an enemy and a thief within their own household. Their heart and thought and care would be in heaven if their treasure lay in heaven. And Basil the Great said a lot of stuff concerning this, but here are some examples. It is absurd and disgraceful for one to live magnificently and luxuriously when so many are hungry. If one who takes the clothing off another is a thief, why give any other name to one who can clothe the naked and refuses to do so? The bread that you store up belongs to the hungry. The cloak that lies in your chest belongs to the naked. And the gall that you have hindered in the ground belongs to the poor. How can I make you realize the misery of the poor? How can I make you understand that your wealth comes from their weeping? Gregory of Nyssa wrote, All things belong to God, who is our Father and Father of all things. We are all the same family, all of us are brothers and sisters, and among brethren it is best and most equal that all inherit equal portions. Ambrose wrote, Nature has poured forth all things for the common use of all people, and God has ordained that all things should be produced, that there might be food in common for all, and that the earth should be the common possession of all. Nature created common rice, but usurpation has transformed them into private rights. God gave the same earth to be cultivated by all. Since therefore his bounty is common, how is it that you have so many fields and your neighbor not even a clod of earth? And John Chrysostom said a lot of things concerning this, but I will give some examples. The rich are in possession of the goods of the poor, even if they have acquired them honestly or inherited them legally. Not to enable the poor to share in our goods is to steal from them and deprive them of life. The goods we possess are not ours, but theirs. And here's my favorite. When you are weary of praying and do not receive, 
Consider how often you have heard a poor man calling and have not listened to him. Augustine wrote, Seek as much as God has given you, and from that take as much as is necessary. The superfluities of the rich are the necessaries of the poor. Those who possess superfluities possess the goods of others. And finally, Cyril of Alexandria wrote, Give away these earthly things and win that which is in heaven. Give that which you must leave even against your will that you may not lose things later. Lend your wealth to God that you may be really rich. Concerning the way in which to lend it, Jesus next teaches us saying, Sell your possessions and give alms, provide yourself with persons that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail. Worldly wealth has many foes, but no one can do damage to the wealth that is laid up above in heaven. Amen.